Hi, everybody. Dorothy here, professional astrologer. Today, we're going to talk to you about the new moon in the sign of Virgo. It is on September 6, 8.52 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 14 degrees of Virgo. So the sun has traveled halfway through Virgo already before the moon finally catches up with it. So what are we going to do with this new moon? How will we play with it? How will we work with it? And I'm also going in this recording, I'm going to talk to you about how this, uh, this new moon is connected to prior eclipse in June, how it's connected to a new moon we had in March, and then the future eclipse that we'll be having in Sagittarius coming up. So I'm going to show you those charts because, you know, astrology is cycles and patterns and they tend to repeat and we get, you know, um, well, more energy, really similar energy of the same. So I'm going to explain that to you in what we're doing in this recording today. So let me share my screen with you and I will show you this is the new moon in the sign of Virgo. So what are we going to focus on right now first, you know, before I get to the other patterns that are happening? Uh, Virgo, of course, is, if you know anything about astrology, you know, it is very precise. It's about focusing on the details. And some of the other things, of course, is what are those details? It, it, will, it will be our physical activity, uh, the things that we do every day, our work, our co-workers getting our lives back into a routine. It's very typical this time of year, actually all across most of the world where the school is getting back into session or regular work patterns are getting back into session. I know there's always exceptions right now because of the amazing circumstances we're all still in, but we still need to be organized and efficient and find that pattern and that routine. And that is just something that the planets will reflect back that what we're doing here on the earth, right? So we are getting back into being more organized and, um, and precise. Now, Virgo has also a lot to do with, you know, of course, it, it takes the information that Gemini gathers, Mercury rules Gemini, Mercury rules Virgo, takes the information that Gemini will gather and Virgo will sift and sort and organize and put it in place. That's another thing that we can look at that we may be needing to do. So you're going to be writing and setting your goals based off of these qualities that I've been speaking. You can always hit pause and rewind and then go back and just to get more. But we want to, we are, we also feel very, uh, very much like uh, precise or, or discerning at this point in time too. We're really going to be feeling that we need to be uh, quite specific and really get in alignment with what it is those details are. You know, I'm trying to sort through some stuff, new website at some point sooner than later. <laughs> my last one, I'm still working fine, but my, my web guy sort of abandoned me. So um, I've been maintaining it myself for about a year, but now I have Virgo helping me to build it and we'll get that together. I can't give you a time frame. I'm not sure yet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just see, that's my Virgo thing. That's what I'm going to be doing during this Virgo new moon is, you know, really organizing. What do I want that to look like for me? you know, because that's an important piece of my work, the website where people can come and find you. The website has working perfectly fine, but it's time to freshen it up and, you know, take control of it. And this is what we do in the Virgo time of year. Now, even though we haven't had the new moon as of this recording, I'm recording this on the 1st of September, we still have the sun in the sign of Virgo. And that again is very precise and particular and specific. So we want to uh, pay attention to that. Now, so many other things, but one of the things, so this doesn't go too long, that I really want us to connect with is, you know, every year we have a few eclipses. Let me get my notes out of my way. Every year we have a few eclipses and um, whenever they are, they are. So we had an eclipse on, on the 10th of June and that was at 19 degrees of Virgo. I mean, 19 degrees of Gemini. This new moon is makes a 90 degree angle to that eclipse. And so I want you to look at this chart. Don't get overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm going to show you this right now. Here is a chart of, here's four new moons, all right, over approximately not quite a year. So the, we have four charts here, four new moons. Two of these are eclipses. I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my, uh, my drawing tool. Hopefully that will translate through in this recording. So 
new moon in Virgo. That was on March 13th. All right. It was at 23 degrees. <laughs> I said new moon in Virgo. I meant new moon in Pisces. That was on March 13th. All right. New moon, 23 degrees of Pisces on March 13th. June 10th. This is 90 degrees from the, from the first new moon. June 10th, new moon eclipse. So basically a solar eclipse at 19 degrees at Gemini. All right. Now, physically, they look a little far apart, but they're all 90 degrees. This is approximately 90 degrees. The new moon that we have, where is it? Right here on September 6th is also is 90 degrees, give or take a few, all, an orb, that orb, 90 degrees from the new moon eclipse on June 10th. And it's opposite the new moon that we had in March. All right, so there's that. And then coming up, here's the next, the last new moon of the year. And that's on December 4th. That's also a solar eclipse. So they're a little wide, but it's, it's so basically just because the wheels are expanding here, basically what we have here is a square, a mutable square between these new moons and what we want. And that's important to pay attention to because this one and this one is an eclipse. So June 10th and December 7th, uh, December 4th, June 10th, December 4th, two new moon eclipses. And so when we're at the halfway point, which would be here, March 13th, which would be here coming up on September 6th, those are, those are awareness points and stress points and what was happening then. So why am I bringing this up? Again, astrology is all cycles, patterns that repeat and build on each other, repeat and or build on each other. So look back to this point in March. What were you doing? I was house hunting. I had to, my landlord decided to sell the house I lived in. I had only gotten the news a few weeks before that. So I was house hunting. I even look at that day and it's like, yeah, I had a lot of apartments to look at then. June 10th, I had moved by then, but I was still making some major adjustments at where I live. And here we are for coming up in just a few days on September 6th. We have another new moon that will square that eclipse. I want you to pay attention to what's going on. It'll be some sort of adjustment. Squares represent stress or attention. Just enough pressure. So you're being made aware of what adjustments you need to make. Squares cause, uh, they, they don't cause anything, but they give, they, they present to us issues or circumstances. So we don't let things just slip by. So we have to work on something. You know, what is it? I hope I don't have to do anything else with where I live, but <laughs> whatever it is, it is, right? And it could be something completely different, but it's typically going to run the same theme. May not have anything to do with my physical location where I live. Emotionally, it could be, you know, the insecurity of all of a sudden I got to find a new home and that type of insecurity. What does that trigger? You know, so I could be asking myself that. Why do I feel insecure about X, Y, or Z? You can do the same thing. So that's your job. Find out what it is you were working on, what came to the surface, what was happening for you in that March time period. Here it is, that March 13th. Even back then, I talked about how that March, that new moon in Pisces was, was at a square aspect to the eclipse on June 10th. And I mentioned that way back when, six months ago. I did mention that. But needless to say, nobody remembers. We have short-term memories these days. I know I do. I, I want you to pay attention to this. And so that's why I brought this up. I want you to look at, um, besides setting new goals and new intentions based off of you know Virgo qualities, again, the details, being precise, being grounded, getting information all lined up, getting processes or something all lined up for yourself. And, you know, Virgo is a very strong, I didn't mention before, but it's very strong in our own health and wellness. I think I did mention that. Could be that, you know, this is something relating to your own health and wellness, your diet or 
you know, whatever that is for you, you need to change something or you need to feel better or you just, whatever it is, the preciseness of that Virgo, that new moon in Virgo, I want you to pay attention to that. So definitely set those intentions, but on that second level, on that other layer, I want you to think about what it is that you have been working on since that date in March. And then what did the new moon eclipse on June 10th bring up? What did it show you? Because sometimes we have to get away from the new moons before we can really see what it is we've worked towards or working towards and what we're manifesting. So give yourself that space, give yourself that, that time to really sit with it, all right? So that is what I want you to do if you're interested in working with the energies of what the sky is telling us, what the planets are telling us. And then I picked a card. I love this deck. And for more information like this, I have my Patreon group. It's a membership thing. You guys know what Patreon is, I think. And um, I recorded something completely different for the uh, sort of the, almost different, but a lot more additional information. And that was published day before yesterday on my Patreon group. So come join me there. There's different levels for whatever it is you like. If you have any questions, just ask. So this deck is just fantastic. See if I can get the light not to shine off it. There we are by Denise Lynn and Nature Spirit. It's really beautiful. I got the trickster, so I'm not sure what that's about. I have to pay attention. That was probably for me, watching the watching what's going on around me. Answer the call is what came up. So if you've been looking um, for a sign to like, should I start something new? What should I do? How should I begin something? This is about listening to your spirit, listening to your higher self and answering that call, whatever it is. All right. Meditate on it. Think about it sift and sort through the information by using that new moon in Virgo, by engaging the new moon that we had way back in March in Pisces, which is our spirit, our higher self, our hopes, our dreams, by listening to the information that came through when we had that new moon solar eclipse, a solar eclipse is a new moon on June 10th. What was the messages you received then? All right, and how can you work with it now and, and take it to the next level? Because the, the, new moon, the new moon eclipse that we have in December, so three months from now, that will be squaring today's, this moon, new moon, it'll be opposite the eclipse from June, and it's in Sagittarius. So that's about speaking our truth and sharing our knowledge, exploring, playing, all of those things. So we've got a lot with this new moon, even though it's a simple little Virgo new moon, there is a lot to it. Plus, we have a lot of other things going on in September. And so, again, I do a weekly thing with Patreon, a weekly thing, so you can catch up with, keep up with all of that. But we do have an awful lot going on in September, and tons of planets are retrograde. I just created a video on that. I'll put that in the link. It, sh it should just follow right after this one. I'll make it the next video after this one, so you can catch that if you like. That's about 30 minutes long. The rest of the new moon forecast is on Patreon and we go through the houses. So, so you can see where this new moon is and we go through each of the houses to give you additional information. All right, I'm gonna leave you everybody with that. Thank you. And please comment, like, and share. You know the routine. Blessings. Namaste.